I thank you for the time tonight. I thank you for the people of God in your house. I thank you for those that have tuned in, Father, and just do what you do. And Holy Spirit, help us and guide us and escort us through the word. Make it plain, make it clear, make it elementary. I thank you for great faith, great expectation. Uh, we know one word from you, Father, can change our very lives. And so, Father, I thank you. I thank you how you're growing us, how you're maturing us, how you're not playing with us. But that just lets us know that you got plans, great plans for us, that you are mindful of us and that you love us so. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you for signs. Thank you for miracles. Thank you for wonders. I thank you for lives being torn down. And we, your people, walking in truth, walking in light, walking in revelation, Father. And so, Father, we bless you. We thank you again for this time tonight. Move by your spirit and be glorified. Yeah, nothing, nothing normal, nothing usual about church. But, Father, we thank you. Show yourself strong. Manifest your presence. Manifest your glory, Father. And so, Father, we thank you. We bless you. And we honor you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. God is wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Good evening to everybody in the house. Uh, good evening to all those that are tuned in online. Thank God for all of our Eve members as well. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, also, too, it was uh, one day earlier uh, this week. May have been Monday. May have been yesterday. I forgot. We just had Wednesday. Praise God. Uh, I sent out to in our group uh, communication uh, a message from our covering bishop uh, that dealt with agreement. And so I would definitely am admonish uh, all married couples and even those that desire to get married uh, to take advantage of it. It was a powerful and an on time word, praise God. Tonight we're going to be picking up uh, the Lord had us dealing with uh, the topic or the subject, uh, developing an ever-increasing anointing. Uh, we know this uh, teaching, uh, this impartation uh, uh, was ignited by our apostle, uh, Leroy Thompson uh, Sr. And so uh, I hope you're understanding uh, that the Lord even shared with us on, uh, on Sunday that it's not church as usual. It's not that we're just playing games, uh, but understand that God has kingdom on his mind, that understand what he's looking and endeavoring to do is grow us to another level spiritually. Are you catching this? That's what he's doing. So you got to understand. So you got to be paying attention now because class is in session. And so now God is, he's showing us how we're, we, we've been, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, we've been wrestling with stuff in the natural, in the physical way too long. Yeah. And you better catch what I'm saying. We, we have not really been walking and the authority, the power, uh, the dominion, uh, the kingdom operators that God has called us to. Uh, to a certain degree, a lot of things were, uh, can I say, formality. Uh, I'm not trying to take anything away from tradition. Tradition has its place, and tradition is good in certain arenas. But it's, it's no good if I ain't growing. 
It's, it's no good if I don't understand that I'm not supposed, oh, oh. It's no good if I don't understand what was trying to fight me in 92 shouldn't be fighting me now because that thing dead. Are you, catching, are you catching what I'm saying here? So that means there are things that uh, we, we've, we've, it's again, it's I think I can just come to the church. Uh, I can just be like I'm on a ministry. But what you have to understand is it's I got to be changing. Do you understand that? I got to be changing. See, co-pastor is not married to the same man. Watch this. She was last month. <laughs> so what you have to understand is, I don't know about you, but I stay hungry. It's I always know, oh, there's more when it comes to God. I'm not able to exhaust him. And so I'm like, okay, what, what, what else do I need to do? Oh, watch this. God, what else need to be killed? Oh, man. Y'all better come on with me, man. I know it might be stepping on our toes, but let it just step on. I just say, ouch. But it's, it's, no, it's like, no, I got to go. Now, did y'all hear how the Holy Ghost said, this word coming forth, but at the end of the day, you got to do something with it. Now, I'm just wondering, since Sunday, how many people Instagram time went down and their Bible went up? Come on. Oh, some of y'all showing y'all hands. Okay. Y'all took it. Okay. Y'all doing it boldly like, yeah, no, no, I took that. That's good. That's good. But you would be surprised how many heard it and Instagram ticked up. Oh, God, man. All right, let me get in here. Let me get in here. Yeah, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost dropping bombs early. Now, let's go back to Ephesians 6 really quick because I just want to make sure we're develop. No, 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 no. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Go to Acts 10.38. Acts 10.38. Acts 10.38. Let's get over here. I got my, I got my uh, NIV Thompson tonight. You know, got several, you got to have several Bibles now. Now, you do have Bible, right? I know we use the iPad, phone, but you got to, you got to hear these pages turning sometime. Yeah. So, Acts 10.38, Acts 10.38, uh, I'm in the NIV. Uh, we, we could just deal with the NIV for a little while. That's fine. Let's just go to verse 37. And remember now, the Lord is developing an ever-increasing anointing. He said the first platform was praying in the spirit, right? But don't forget, we're talking about anointing as well, right? Y'all see here. So verse 37 says, you know, you know what has happened throughout the province of Judea. Beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, verse 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. How God anointed Anthony of South Hill. How God anointed, put your name. Okay, you see, I told you I ain't trying to go by myself. I'm trying to take some folks with me. So, so how God anointed, got to catch this now. Is he said, he said, it said, so what you got to understand, the anointing, ah, uh, oh, can I say it like this? Thank you, Holy Ghost. A real anointing come from God. Yeah. I'm not talking about something conjured up. I'm not talking about something uh, fictitious. Right. But I'm talking about a real anointing right. come from God. Right. So you got to know that for yourself that the power, the anointing that's flowing is not me, but it's the God that's with me and in me. Are you catching this? Are you catching this here? Oh, that, because see, God don't mind, oh, watch this. God don't mind stretching out through you. When I got my foot up off the floor there. When, when he know you gonna give him the glory. Yeah, 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 you, you might lay hands, but no, forget it, ain't you. He just, you just the port of contact 
but God is the one that is releasing the power to bless his people. Do you understand it? You might preach a good word, but don't ever forget, it's God that's flowing through you. It's the Holy Ghost that's bringing that out that the people of God can be blessed. Are you catching this? See, see, the anointing should be affecting the hearer. Oh, God. Okay, let me finish this. Let me finish this. I'm going to try to stay right at 730. 730. Because I see, I see, I'm going to let y'all know because the, I, I, I think that the, it was a part of the message on Sunday that the Lord just had my heart come out. And I, I see, I see that y'all, you know, I see you trying to do what you, you like, yeah, my pastor going to be here. I'm going to be here too. I, I just, I just want to, I just, I like what I just, I was, I was saying like, I just want you to know, I see you. Yeah, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. And you got to understand. Okay. Let me stay here. I got to stay in here, but I'm trying to tell you, we all going somewhere. Oh my God, Lord, God mercy. Listen, verse 30, they say, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Anoint him. What did he, what did, what did he do? With the Holy Spirit. And he ain't leaving just that. And power. Come on now. And how, come on now, how he went around. Now remember, remember, remember I, I put my name and you can put your name. Now, let's see. And he said, and he went around doing good. She went around doing good. And healing, oh my God, all who were under the power of the devil oh my god because god oh my god was with him oh my are you catching this there I, see see because when we talk about the anointing see some people they just be like oh you might get excited i'm gonna put my hands on somebody and somebody go just fall out man oh no 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 that ain't that ain't just it right there man you gotta understand we 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 turn and learn something Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so what you have to understand is when, when we are dying, when we're getting in the spirit, we're able to get divine instructions from God. And so now God is able, oh, Lord, have mercy, to flood our lives. Now, let me read this. I'm going to read this Acts 10 one more time, and then I'm going to go to another one. Oh, my God. He said, he said Acts, 30, Acts, Acts 10, 38, how God, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get the big head on yourself. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power and how he went around doing good. Oh, my God. And he didn't say healing some. Oh. Healing, healing all. Heal, healing, healing all who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. Now, go, go to Luke, go to Luke, uh, is it 418? Let me see, let me see. Is Luke, maybe Luke 418 or 419. I know it's a fold, it's a fold. Let's just, let's see. 418, 418, Luke 418. My Bible in red. <laughs> Hallelujah. Y'all been praying in the Holy Ghost more? Uh-huh. The Spirit of the Lord is on me. <laughs> Come on now. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Now let me read this again, let me read this again. Let me read this, the, the spirit of the Lord is on me. Touch yourself. <laughs> The spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me. If this ain't kingdom, I don't know what it is. He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. 
He has sent me to proclaim freedom. You might have thought you had to be locked up for life. Oh, but your sentence. What, what I want? You just got to quit it. <laughs> oh, God has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind to set the oppressed free to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Now, go to Ephesians 6. <laughs> See, sometimes you like, pastor, pastor need to lay hands on me. Mm -mm. Lay hands on you. I don't know if they, I don't know if you heard that one right there. You can lay hands on your own self. Something try to go on, or ache or pain or something try to go on. You get to pray in the Holy Ghost for a moment. Shandorobo kondoro ba 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 ba. I don't know about you, but it's, but it's something about that right hand. It's something, it's something about that right hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you're getting over. You, you, you're not focused no more. You're, you, you're leaving the natural realm. And now you're getting over in the spirit. Because you got to understand, you've been anointed for this. Did you catch this? Now go, you know what I said, Ephesians. Wait a minute, go to Jude, go to Jude, go to Jude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to praying in the Holy Ghost and Jude came to me with the building up. Go, go to Jude, go to Jude verse, Jude verse 17. Jude, 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 Jude 17. We're going to read in a minute. We're going to just wait for him to get it up. <laughs> My God from heaven. Yeah, we, we ain't, ain't no games here. Ain't no, ga ain't no games. Ain't no games. Yeah, ain't no games. I'm in the NIV. Jude, Jude, Jude. What, the book of Jude, right? Yeah. Verse 17. Ain't but one, ain't but one Jew. It's just one Jew. Just one Jew. One Jew. Mine, two pages. Just Jew. There it is. 117. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I left the one off on y'all. My bad. My bad. I apologize in the back. But dear friends, remember... My Bible actually says, uh, the title says, A Call to Persevere. <laughs> a Call to Persevere. Do you understand? You, you made, it seem like, it can seem like you get hit sometime with stuff that seem hard. I mean, it's like, is this really happening? Is this, is this really going on right now? But God is like, I've built you to persevere in spite of what's going, in spite of the adversity, in spite of the light affliction, God has built us to persevere. He's built us, ah, he's anointed us to overcome. Can anybody get in agreement with that? He's anointed us to overcome. You got to understand that. Yeah, he, he's anointed us to overcome. Now, let me get here. Let me get here. Let me get here. My God from heaven. See, I'm telling you. I, I tell, I, 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 Y'all, listen. Watch this. God is building a shown up army up in here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you, 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 no, 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 not in your vocabulary. Uh, you won't be able to quit. Uh, all you know is persevering. All you know is winning. All you know is overcoming. It's, it's not that your life void of it, but you're just like, I am anointed to overcome. I've been empowered to overcome. Oh my God. I got the Holy Spirit and power. Oh yeah, we saw it. We just saw. We just saw Jesus. God anointed Jesus, the Holy Spirit and power. I'm His child too, so He didn't mess around and anointed me too. Oh my God. Okay, one seventeen. One seventeen. But dear friends, I'm trying to tell you. I'm. I'm, I'm I, I just see it. I see some of you growing and changing. I'm trying to tell you. It's. It's going. You gonna get a devil of fit. It's gonna be like. They go, see, he going to come back thinking, he going he to come back thinking you're still in 2000. 
Yeah, yeah, but things didn't change now. So he's trying to come, trying to come, trying to come, trying to come up in your house. You're like, oh, no, no, you've been praying in tongues in that Holy Ghost. Yeah, you like, no, I see you now, devil. I got you on the carpet, and I'm going to cut your head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now you got to understand when you I mean when you're built like this, you know, stuff going to try to come at you. But you got to understand, oh, uh, you you like a you you got your duck suit on. I don't know if you caught that. You know how the water roll off the duck back. Yeah, they throwing everything you can. And like you you Vaseline duck. You you spiritually oiled up. It it ain't sticking. Yeah, it ain't sticking. It ain't sticking. Throwing, throw, what they said, throwing everything but the kitchen sink or something. Yeah, trying to throw everything he can, but ain't nothing sticking. Throwing everything he can, and you still like, God, I bless you. God, I love you. God, you're wonderful. God, you're great. God, you're mighty. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, thank you. Yeah, 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 everything he can, but it ain't sticking. It ain't sticking. It ain't sticking. It ain't sticking. Now here we go. That why you, you that why see sometimes y'all think I'm just trying to say be here just to be here. No, I'm trying to tell you it's it's not that the same power can't flow, but if you can be in class, I'd rather just be in class. Do you understand that? Do you know how many E members wish they could be in here for every service? Come on now. Verse 17, but dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last times, in the last times, there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. I think we're saying that. These are the people who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. Oh, but you, dear friends, by building yourselves up, building yourselves up, building yourselves up, it's, it's, it's almost like uh, when I saw this, it may have been last week and the Holy Ghost bringing it back to my remembrance. You know how when something needs charging and sometimes it has uh, the little blocks and so you can see when the charge is low, then you can see when it gets to medium, but then you can see when it gets to full charge. And so what you have to understand, there's a building up that will be taking place that it seems, oh, it might have seemed like your battery was low. <laughs> but, it said, but it said building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm not knocking praying in English because you should pray in English. But I'm saying God is showing us in his word that no, I got, I have, oh, oh, oh. It's almost like there's a mandate that I got to pray in the spirit. Are you catching this? It's, it's not, you got to catch this now. It's not like I'm giving you a suggestion, like a good suggestion. I need you to see it as a mandate. I want it to get to a place where you pray in tongues so much, you'll be praying in tongues while you sleep. I might have lost somebody right there. 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 See, I, that, that analogy, that came to me because I think about my grandbaby, uh, Naya. And sometimes when she's sleeping, her, her lips... She's doing something with her lips. And so it was like I saw that in the spirit. Like you get to the place you done prayed in the whole, you praying the Holy Ghost on my, you praying while you sleep. I don't think they understand what's going on here, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. It's, it's now, you got to catch this now because um, God is, he's transcending us. He's taking us 
out of the natural arena and putting us in the spirit. So you got to understand, it's building something within us. Our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. So you got to understand, remember, remember how the Holy Ghost said on Sunday? When, see, praying in the Holy Ghost is not just, it's not for non-believers. It's for believers. And even if you go pray, oh Lord, I, that's, that's a whole nother lesson about uh, being able to interpret. But I'm, that's, that's not where we got to go tonight. Praying in the spirit, don't rob your own self. It's that, no, God is telling me himself I got to pray in the Holy Spirit. So I commend those that came up on Sunday. They went to the back, praying in the Holy Ghost. They might have started out certain ways, but we said keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep, keep praying. I, I got a, they got another language. Oh my God. Okay, let me finish reading this. Let me finish reading this. Verse 20, verse 20. Y'all keep, I mean, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. But you, dear friends, by building, it's, and it's almost like too, it's almost like, it's almost like, uh, can I say it like this? It's almost like praying in the Holy Spirit to come, become contagious. Yeah. It's, it's some, I'm, I'm, I'm co-pastor, she, I, she might not even pay attention. Uh, she's been walking through the house here, and so I, I hear her go, go to praying in the Holy Ghost. And it's like when she go praying in the Holy Ghost, it unction, my spirit say, my spirit say, uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, now, 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 we by, now, now, she praying and I'm praying. I, you don't know what's being uprooted. You don't know what's, oh, watch it. You don't know what's being uprooted. You don't know what's being torn down. I got something else for you. You don't know what's being built and you don't know what's coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me get this, let me get this, let me get this. Verse 20, verse 20, verse 20. But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, then I'll just read verse 21. Keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Now, let me go back to Ephesians 6 real quick. Ephesians 6. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, you can turn, you can hold, your, hold, hold Ephesians 6. But let me, let, me, let, me, let me go here a second. Let me go here a second. Let me, let me see. Let me see something about the anointing. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see some apostle might have said about the anointing I want to give to you. <laughs> I, hadn't, I forgot this note. I read Acts 10 38, but I got a note in here that our apostle said the master key to Jesus' ministry was the anointing. Yes. Like the, like the, like the, the master key. Do you understand that? The, he went around doing good, he went around healing, he went around being able to proclaim the good news, uh, to set the captives free. Do you understand that's? Remember, how, remember that illustration where the baton got passed? Yes, That's you now. Glory. Did you catch that? How can bad have me when I've been anointed to go around and do good? Ah. What? Did you catch that right there? How can bad have me? I've been anointed to go around and do good. Now, 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 I gave, I gave, I said the master key to Jesus' ministry was the anointing. Then, then, then he gave another one. Uh, uh, the, uh, oh, wait a minute, oh, oh, oh. did I read? The anointing, oh, wait a minute, let me see if I want to read this. I'm trying to make sure. Uh, the anointing is wrapped in the glory. The anointing is wrapped in the, oh, this one, this, this one, this one. The anointing is a divine interruption of God. The anointing is a divine interruption of God. What are you saying here, man of God? That basically you can't come in here thinking you got your own set program. You understand? I'm not trying to knock. I know some ministries, they got, what, what do they call those things? Uh, they, they, no, they, they, when you got every Sunday, you come and it's got the, prog the program with everything written on there. So basically, at, at 8.50, we're going to pray. 
at 8.55, we're going to sing ourselves a song or a hymn. At, at, at 9 o'clock, we might hear a testimony. At, at 9.10, the pastor going to come forth to preach the word. But what happens if God want to interrupt you between 8.50 and 8.55? What, what if God is like, what if God is like, I don't, I don't, I don't want nobody to sing no song today. What, 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 then y'all know y'all have seen me. I done, I done told co-pastor, ain't nobody singing tonight on Wednesday. I'm coming straight out to the pulpit and get ready to preach. But is that, is that normal? I ain't asked what was normal. If God tell me ain't nobody singing tonight, ain't nobody singing tonight. You can sing in your car on the way home. But I'm doing what God told me to do. Are you, are you catching that? So, so don't get disappointed if you come and you might be like, well, why aren't they? Because God, God, he don't want it like that tonight. So what you have to understand is divine interruption. That means what you're doing is you're giving God leeway to do what he want to do. What you're saying is God I'm not on a program, but whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, I'm good with it. Now, I hope some pastors that was listening to me, because I know pastors listening to me, and I'm not talking about because they think it's me. I'm just saying, I know it's the anointing. I know it's God. And so and you got to be like, no, nah, you ought to go and be like, you know what? We putting the programs in a barrel and burning them today. That now we going to do what the Lord is telling us to do. And I know and I feel for some pastors because they got these boards and all this other stuff. And what you got to understand is when you got a show enough man of God or you got a show enough woman of God, you got to let them free. Oh, that's good for some of the people out there now that's on the board. Because what you're doing is you're holding up the power and the move of God. Because you're like, no, pastor, you can't do that, pastor. No, pastor, you're getting too far out there now. No, if you got a show enough man of God or woman of God, I got a word for you. Let them loose. <laughs> yeah, let them loose. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no, you can't be on a program. You can't be restricted. And, and, and everything is not a cutter, a cutter in the spirit. Okay, you got to catch that. God can deliver you one way uh, last year, but he might decide to do it another way this year. So don't just get fixated. Oh, God did it like this last time. So that's exactly how God going to do it. No, uh -uh, that ain't how that work. Now, uh, Ephesians 6. Yeah, so, so it's a divine interruption. I don't know about you. I, I, don't, I don't mind God interrupting me. <laughs> yeah, interrupt me, God. Yeah, yeah, interrupt me, God. So, 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 did y'all see in Jude, uh, praying the Holy Spirit, we saw a building, building yourselves up in your, so, so, you, you might have been dealing with some stuff, but you got to be like, you know what? I got to go over in the Spirit. I got to be able now to move, oh, you got to learn how to remove yourself from the problem. Oh, my God from heaven. Did you hear that right there? Remove yourself from the problem. It's like, no, I, I, I know that I've been anointed to be able to overcome any and everything I need to overcome. Now, oh, God. Okay, I said Ephesians 6, right? I said Ephesians 6. Uh, what's, what's the verse? What's the verse? Go to 18. Oh, man, I was going to try to get to another scripture. That's okay. That's okay. Y'all just come back. Go back to Ephesians 6, 18. Ephesians 6, 18. Remember how I said that it's, you got to see this as a mandate. You got to see. And let me tell you, ain't nothing to be scared of to pray in the Holy Ghost. It's, you you got to understand, you, it, it's a right. It's a gift given unto you that you should take advantage of it because pray. It's under the scripture that talks about how, can somebody find that? Uh, I think it's in John where it talks about the Holy Spirit is a, a comforter, a strengthener. I think it's in the Amplified. Uh, uh, and, and I'm going to read. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, Ephesians 6.18, why they getting that scripture from it. 
and pray in the spirit on how many occasions? With all kinds of prayers and requests. I need to pray. I'm going to say something to you that you, you might not fully understand. You need to pray about everything. Before you start to make certain moves and do certain things, you just need to pray about everything because you need to see if something needs to be revealed to you. Oh, you need to see if, is this really a good deal? Oh, God. John 14, 26. Okay, thank you. All right, so Ephesians uh, 6, 18. Then we're going to go over here to John 14. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be what? Be a what? And always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me, that's what he said, that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador. Come on now, Apostle Paul, in chains. Pray that I may declare it fiercely as I should. You said John 14? John, John 14, 26, Amplified. We agree to go home. Ah, you thought you was dangerous before. You, you M-O now. More dangerous. <laughs> you M-O. More dangerous now. Mo. I ain't saying more. You mo. M-O. You more dangerous now. You take this right. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, you get to pray in the Holy Spirit. I'm trying to tell you. God will start, he'll start showing stuff to you. I got, I, okay, I'm going to have to do that if the Lord say on Sunday. Let me, let me see the Amplified, please. John 14, 26. That what they said? But let, let me see 25. What do 25 say? Let me see what 25. We're good to be done. We're good to be done. Let me see it again. Hallelujah. Uh, I have told you these things while I am still with you. That, the Bible is read, right? In, in, well, this, this Jesus. This Jesus talk. What, what, is, is this all in the same thing, too, when he said, I won't leave you comfortless? Is all that in the same passage? But you know what? Y'all believe it. Y'all believe that the Holy Spirit is real, right? Okay, let's go to 26. <laughs> but the helper. What? The Holy Spirit? That's that what Jesus talking about. Who we talking about, right? Jesus talking about the Holy Spirit, right? But the helper, the comforter, the advocate. Oh, what that word right there said? The intercessor. Oh, my God. Counselor. Strengthener. Stand by the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name in my place to represent me and act on my behalf. Wait a minute, what else he gonna do? Wait a minute, I've been, I've been anointed the Holy Spirit and power. Then, then Jesus said in Luke, 418, didn't he say, and the spirit of the Lord is upon me, right? right, right. So, so you got to understand, you got an advocate, yes. you got a helper, yes. you got a standby. Yes. What does standby mean? It's the Holy Ghost on standby what you need. What you need? He, he, he's a standby. He, he's a, a strengthener. Yes. Uh, it's, it's what? What? An uh, intercessor. Now, you can't uh, thank God for our intercessors here. Yes. But I'm going to tell you, the Holy Spirit yes. interceded. Yes. You better come on now. Now, now let, me, let me read this. We almost done. We almost done. Y'all didn't even realize y'all had all this packing like this day. 16 is verse. Okay, we're going to read this, then we're going to jump to 16. He said, he said I'm going to start again. It's so good. But the helper, comforter, you know, because sometimes it ain't. Can I say it like this? Ah, uh, a physical, or can I say maybe natural touch ain't what you need. <laughs> oh, 
God, Lord have mercy. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. I'm not saying I'm not saying y'all up. I'm not saying y'all up. Comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor. Oh, you we we all need counseling. Yeah, you know how many times we done went out here I'm talking about, I'm gonna do this because this is what I want to do. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me get some counseling. Strengthen us, stand back. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father was sent in my name, in my place to represent me and act on my behalf. He will teach you how many things? He's going to teach me all things. And then, and, then, and then it still ain't done. And he will help you remember. You know, sometimes you be like, I got this awesome memory. And I'm not trying to say that you ain't got a good memory. But I'm just trying to tell you, the Holy Ghost will help you. I don't know about you. There was a couple of things today that came to my mind. I said, I got to do it. I went to something else. But then I was praying in the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost reminded me of what I had forgot that I said I needed to do. Now, what? Now, watch this. I didn't say, I didn't say, thank you, Anthony. You know what I said? I said, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. I said, thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, let me finish this. Y'all trying to run me. Y'all done ran me past 730. That's y'all fault. Y'all came out here tonight wanting it. And the Holy Ghost wanted to give it. He will teach you all things, and he will help you remember everything that I have told you. Everything I've told you. Let me see verse 16, and then you, we can stand to our feet. And I will ask the Father. Oh, my God. Jesus asked the Father, and he will give you another helper, comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, stand by. Wait a minute. To be with me how long? Forever and ever. Forever. Stand to your feet. Give God glory and give him praise and bless his holy and righteous name. Father, we thank you and bless you. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the teaching. Thank you for the impartation that you're giving to we, your people. Holy Spirit, thank you. We know that you're getting it out and breaking it down and making it clear for us and bringing these examples uh, to make it elementary that we're able to get a hold of this and so thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus, thank you, because we know you praying too. So we thank you. Jesus praying. Holy Spirit are in us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so, Father, I thank you. I know we got part of the remnant in the house tonight, but it may be somebody online tonight that you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. But tonight, you're like, I, I need to get this thing right. I need, I need to yield. I need to, I need, it's, it ain't, it's not, no longer about mama relationship, daddy relationship, grandma. No, do you have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? And if you don't, I want you to call the number on the screen. Do you need to rededicate your life? And i answer that question. Yes, you do. If you have turned your back on God, if you have started doing your own thing, everything that you think you was big and bad enough to do, you need, you need to yield. You need to surrender yourself to the living God. You need to, you need to get back on the right path now. I, I, I don't know about you, but I know what it's like when you're out there and you're just running them up and, and you ain't letting God be in charge. As I've said this before. Your tide got to be tied. It's, it's like, no, no, something has got to change. Yeah, and guess what? It started with you. And so you need to yield yourself to the living God. You need to just say, God, I repent. I know I've sinned and I've sinned against you only. I, 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 my heart I, it's, I, it's a, rem, a remorseful heart of what I've done. I've seen the error of my ways and I want to walk in light. I want to walk in truth. So you may need to rededicate yourself tonight back unto the Lord. Call that number on the screen. 
Has God been dealing with you saying this is where you need to connect? This, this, this is home base for you. That he's been telling you, pastor and co-pastor, you, you, you're called to be my spiritual covering. If he is, don't hesitate. Pick up that phone and call tonight. You need to get things straight. Get things in order so you can start to see God move in your life. Hallelujah. We've been talking about uh, uh, developing an ever-increasing anointing. The first platform, praying in the spirit. And so last but not least, do you pray in the spirit? If you don't, I've, I've, been, I've been encouraging you. I've been admonishing you. I almost want to say, been pleading with you. It's nothing to be scared of, nothing to be fearful of. Uh, and, and if you know you need to come to the altar, just come to the altar. Don't try to get natural thinking in it. Oh, what are people going to think? What are people going to think if I start? I'm young. I never did that. People, no, no, it belongs to you. You just need to come to the altar. Only prerequisite is you must be saved, but we can pray that with you. Then we can pray to see you get filled. Hallelujah. <laughs> and pray in the Holy Ghost tonight before you leave. We just, guess, just gave a testimony of three the children of God that are able to pray now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't, don't let the natural mind try to get involved. No, no, no. Belong to you. Belong to you. Belong to you. So if you know that's you, you may be in the house. Come to the altar. You may be online. Call the number on the screen. Because you got to realize, God is, he's teaching us. He's got two platforms that he wants to give us. We, we've been digging into the first. And the first one, praying in the spirit. But think about it. How can you be increasing in the anointing and if it's say platform one is praying in the spirit, but you don't want to come. You don't want to call. You don't want to get the first part. That means you're going to be leaving, can I say it like this, part of the anointing now. Oh, my God from heaven. No, nothing to be scared of. We can, we can show you a scripture. We, I'm trying to take nothing to be fearful of. Call the number. Come to the altar. Hallelujah. Praying in the Spirit, praying in the Holy Ghost, church home, rededication, salvation is available for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise the name of the Lord. You may have your seats. We are transitioned to our tithes and our offering. Giving information should be on the screen. Also, if you're tuned in now, make sure to, you don't rob God, get your offering in. You might be like, today want a uh, payday fund, but get your offering in. Get your seed in the ground. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Once you got your phone, you, you got your iPhone, got your uh, iPad, got your Android, you, you can pull that thing out, hit that little button to go to your camera. You can hit scan me. God, God doing it. I'm trying to tell you, that's nice there. Hallelujah. That's nice there. Yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is so good. Anybody else glad they came to church? I am, I tell you. I'm glad the Lord had let me take that ride down tonight and go ride back. Hallelujah. Pray in the Holy Ghost. You pray in the Holy Ghost going back, you, you might get back quicker. And I ain't talking about because you're doing 90. I'm trying to tell you, I done been, I done, I, done, I done traveled and I done seen it. I done left here sometimes and it's like a Holy Ghost wind has got behind the car. And it's like, it start out, uh, what one of these exits? Exit 20 something or 30 something. Next thing I know, I'm at exit 63. And it seemed like I ain't been in the car 15 minutes. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. I did. God do that sometimes. He just, he like, you done push, you done done this for me. He, he, he'll, he'll, 
you on down the road. And I ain't speed. Yeah, because I don't speed. Now, I, now, I'm definitely not a speeder. I heard some of them laughing. No, seriously, I don't speed. I put that thing on cruise. All right. We all ready? Stand to your feet. Y'all done done so good. We gonna, it going to be less than an hour. Y'all ready to pray? All right. Repeat after me. Father, Father I thank you I for being my source. I thank you for increasing me more and more, me and my children. I thank you that my cup runneth over. I thank you I'm blessed to be a blessing. I thank you that you're increasing me, that you're overflowing me, so I'm able to do more for your kingdom and your people. And I thank you and I bless you and I honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Ushers, you can take charge. Praise God. Do we have announcements? They can have those ready. I know they might have it up there, but men, where my men at? We got our prayer on Saturday, 10 a.m. Your, your pastor, I'll be here, and we're going to be interceding and going before the Lord. I can tell you now, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I know God going to be here, and it's going to be good. Amen. You all ready with the announcements? If you're ready, we can play those. Praise God. Rising Book Club will be held on Thursday, April 18th at 6 p.m. Ladies, make plans to join co-pastor for a Woman of God Supernatural Soaking Session on Friday, April 19th at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss this. Men and young men make plans to join pastor for prayer on Saturday, April 20th at 10 a.m. Ladies, meet up with co-pastor and your sisters in Christ at Starbucks on Saturday, April 20th at 10 a.m. Water baptism will be held at Jerusalem Baptist Church on Saturday, April 20th at 2.30 p.m. The men and young men will be going to Top Golf on Saturday, April 27th at 12 p.m. The cost is $30 per person and registration is required to attend. You may register in the vestibule after service or online using the event registration page and event code TOPGOLF. For all of these announcements and more, please visit our website at wogintmin.org. So we can be dismissed. Father, we thank you and bless you. Thank you for all that you have shared tonight, all the wisdom, the insight, the encouragement. Uh, thank you that we're going to take hold of this word. We're not just hearers, but we are going to be doers. And so, Father, I thank you. I thank you even for those that have been applying the teaching um, and seeing things changed, not only in them, but in their very lives. And so, Father, thank you. Continue to grow us, continue to mature us uh, again, that we can truly walk in that authority, that power, that dominion that you have called us to. And so, Father, I thank you that it is well with us, yes. that we're abiding in peace, and that goodness and mercy is following us all the days of our lives. We bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. You're now dismissed.